So 2022 was a pretty big year for a lot of space discoveries, a lot of science discoveries, a lot of discoveries involving various telescopes. So big as a matter of fact, that it's kind of difficult to create a video with just 10 major discoveries. But in this video, I'm going to do my best to try to find 10 or so top discoveries in space sciences of 2022. Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and let's start with the obvious. James Webb Space Telescope. Like, the whole thing. And that's because, even by itself, the telescope has already made so many incredible discoveries. As a matter of fact, check out the separate video on the discoveries that essentially focuses on the James Webb only. But just the fact that this mission was in planning for something like two decades and cost approximately $10 billion in total, and also had approximately 340 different ways to fail before, during or after launch, the fact that it succeeded and was able to release so many incredible images in just over six months is already pretty mind-blowing. So James Webb Space Telescope was basically the number one space achievement space discovery of 2022. Okay, what about the next one? Well, I think I would have to give this to the DART mission, the asteroid redirect mission that happened in September of 2022 that essentially didn't just teach us that we can definitely change an orbit of an asteroid, but that the actual effects from this collision are much higher than anyone ever thought. And this by itself was already a pretty incredible discovery. And if you want to actually learn more about what happened here and why exactly the effects were so dramatic and approximately 30 times higher than what the scientists expected, check out either the recent video or one of the videos in the description. In a nutshell though, after this mission, we can definitively say that I guess we can stop worrying about asteroids potentially destroying our planet. There's at least one way we've discovered that definitely redirects them really well. And I guess the other really, really important discovery of 2022 was the first ever image of the Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole in the center of our own galaxy. Now, it obviously didn't generate the same amount of buzz as the M87 black hole, but this image was still important for a lot of other reasons discussed in the video in the description. For example, it showed us that there is definitely something unusual going on around the central black hole, and more importantly, some of the recent studies have even uncovered some unusual blob of hot gas that seems to orbit around the black hole. And so these new studies and these new observations will definitively help us understand what's happening right in the middle of the Milky Way and what exactly is our black hole up to. At the moment, all of this is new discoveries. Then we also had quite a lot of discoveries from our neighbor Mars, specifically in regards to the geology and in regards to what seems to still happen inside Mars. Because it seems that Mars is not just still volcanically active, it's actually geologically active and potentially has a relatively large plume that's able to create new volcanoes even today. But there were actually quite a lot of other discoveries about Mars and about Martian atmosphere, Martian surface, or even Martian moon Phobos that we've discussed in a lot of recent videos. For example, one of the recent studies definitively confirmed that the unusual stripes on Phobos are actually the result of Phobos sort of slowly falling apart and breaking apart because of the tidal gravitational forces from Mars itself. And so there was no one discovery coming from Mars, there was just a bunch of small ones that definitively changed our overall understanding of this unusual red planet. This was also a pretty good year for visualization and specifically different types of maps. In this case, different teams of scientists were able to create a really cool visualization of the Milky Way galaxy, with a different team creating a visualization of the entire observable universe. And both were not just realistic and extremely easy to understand, they were also focusing on a lot of recent data with a lot of recent updates, allowing us to actually kind of visualize where we live and what the actual universe potentially looks like. The videos for both of these topics should be somewhere in the description. But more importantly, when it comes to these maps or a lot of these studies on the Milky Way galaxy, a lot of new data from telescopes like the Gaia telescope now help the scientists discover so many new things about the shape of the Milky Way and the overall structure as well helping us reveal that the galaxy that we live in is definitely a lot more warped, a lot more shifted and twisted, and possesses a lot of unusual shapes around it, with all of this suggesting that our galaxy has gone through some really active development and a lot of intergalactic interaction, with a lot of these wrinkles and a lot of these unusual shapes very likely caused by various massive galaxies orbiting around the Milky Way, but eventually being absorbed by the Milky Way one way or another. In the process of discovering some really strange massive structures inside the galaxy, such as the one that you see right here, known as the Maggie filament, but also even identifying the ancient core of the Milky Way itself, essentially the location where many early stars 
served as a foundation for the rest of the galaxy, with all this being a result of a lot of data released by the Gaia telescope and thorough analysis showing exactly how various stars around the galaxy move and where exactly they're located as well, which allowed the scientists to map everything in the Milky Way even better. And speaking of different star maps, another somewhat interesting discovery from not so long ago was the unusual discovery of the historic Hipparchus map, or essentially the first ever map created by the iconic Hipparchus, the father of astronomy. This was a really unusual discovery because it was actually hidden behind a lot of other text, and in this case it's extremely important because this is the first time we've ever seen Hipparchus's writing itself. It's the first time this catalog was officially seen, or essentially is confirmed to have existed. Previously, we've only heard about this catalog from other writers. And it turns out that it's also extremely accurate, way more accurate than any of the other catalogs up until recent times, confirming that Hipparchus was definitely way ahead of his time. This catalog was most likely created around 150 BC, so it's basically 2200 years old. But I guess in this case it's really more interesting for historical reasons. When it comes to actual science, the other exciting discovery was when the scientists found a way to see through the so-called zone of avoidance. The dusty area right in the middle of the Milky Way that basically covers everything behind it, not allowing us to see what's going on in the rest of the universe in this particular direction. But using some new techniques, the scientists were able to do so after all, discovering a really large structure or essentially a really large galactic cluster that seems to have been hiding behind everything and was invisible until now. And that's of course great news for one reason. This area is exactly where a lot of mysteries of local universe are also hidden. Things like for example the iconic Great Attractor. And so by being able to work out these techniques, the scientists might be able to finally solve the mystery of the Great Attractor as well. What exactly is it? And why are all galaxies near us flying toward this particular destination? What exactly is there? Well, so that's really the point behind this particular discovery. There is no answer yet, but maybe in the future. There was also a tremendous discovery of various interesting or even strange exoplanets pretty much all over the Milky Way galaxy, with some of them being very exciting because they were water worlds and some of them being exciting because they were in a habitable zone. But one of the recent discoveries really made no sense. It was a planet that shouldn't technically exist. You can find more about this planet in the description below, but overall the entire year was pretty exciting for a lot of exoplanetary studies. New discoveries from James Webb, new discoveries from the TESS telescope, and a lot of planets even relatively close to us. As a matter of fact, one of the more exciting discoveries from very close to us was from Proxima Centauri, the closest star system to us. And in this case, this was a confirmation that Proxima Centauri definitely seems to have three different planets. The third planet was confirmed. But this one is really far away from the star and is most likely some kind of an ice world. Then the scientists have also confirmed the closest black hole discovered to the solar system. Discovered by the Gaia telescope and known as Gaia BH1. It's about 1500 light years away from us, but it's definitely there and has been confirmed by various studies. Now obviously it's not that close, but this is the closest the scientists have been able to confirm, so it is a pretty big discovery. And speaking of black holes, there was also a really unusual discovery from just a few months ago of signs of potential supermassive black hole collision in the galaxy that you see right here, and it might occur in 2025. Now this is still preliminary and we're not going to know if it happens until 2025, but if it does happen, it's going to be one of the most exciting events in astronomy in the last few decades. And that's because this type of collision has never been observed by scientists anywhere. And if it does happen, it's going to teach us so much more about the universe and about how galaxies evolve as well. But we'll probably know more in 2025. And speaking of massive black holes and massive galaxies, there was also an official discovery of the largest galaxy ever seen, approximately 16 million light years across, a galaxy that we now refer to as Alcyoneus. Now this is a radio galaxy, and so it's really the size of the radio lobes that's 16 million light years across, with the major part of the galaxy really being small somewhere in the middle, but because the lobes technically are also part of the galaxy, it does make it a new record holder. But even though the scientists today understand the galaxies and how they grow and evolve so much better, when it comes to the universe as a whole, a lot of new studies in 2022 uncovered more mysteries than solutions. And specifically confirming that the expansion of the universe and the so-called Hubble tension seems to be real. The universe is definitely expanding and it's also accelerating its expansion, but for some reason at different accelerations. And nobody knows why. Is this some kind of a bias in measurements? Is this some kind of a hidden effect in the universe? Or is this something that seems to be natural but we don't understand? Either way though, it's been confirmed and the Hubble tension is definitely real. 
The other cool discovery was in regards to gravitational waves. But in this case, not the ones caused by various black hole collisions, but the ones that seem to be actually everywhere in the universe. By measuring deviations in various pulsar measurements, the scientists confirmed that the universe seems to be sort of vibrating and kind of shifting around, with Earth in this case being like a buoy on a somewhat calm water. And so there are a lot of these waves coming from various sources, but obviously nobody knows what these sources are. Some of these obviously could be massive black holes and a lot of other massive objects, but it could also be caused by a lot of other hidden mass, maybe dark matter, maybe something else. Still pretty cool discovery, and something to look forward to when the scientists discover even more. There were also discoveries of new types of explosions. Some of them were new types of nova, in this case micronova, and some of them were new types of supernova that's never been seen before. With one of them being particularly interesting, because it occurred around a star that nobody ever thought would be able to go supernova, a type of a star known as Wolf Rayet. And so all of these discoveries of different explosions were also kind of exciting. It basically just showed the scientists that, well, the universe, or things in the universe, don't always all explode in the same way because of similar principles. There are a lot of exceptions and a lot of different ways an object can actually explode, with a lot of factors coming into play when it comes to nova, supernova, or a lot of different types of transients or explosions. But I guess it was just interesting that it was in 2022 that so many were discovered. And then there were also a lot of discoveries of various radio signals across the universe. I guess the most famous one is of course the fast radio burst, and there were quite a lot of FRBs found with one being particularly interesting because it had a very unusual repetition pattern and was super mysterious until relatively recently. The video in the description explains why it was so mysterious and explains a little bit more about why the scientists believe it's actually happening. This particular signal actually repeated like 2000 times in a very short time. Then we had some discoveries from the solar system as well, specifically the shape of the solar system as discovered by the Voyager probes. Turns out that the solar system doesn't just have a weird shape, it also seems to have unusual ripples right at the edge of the solar system itself, which is definitely a different type of view from what we always believed the solar system to look like, more spherical and more symmetrical. It's definitely not. And then there was also the detection of the most powerful gamma ray burst ever seen. This was actually really surprising because it was so powerful that even though it was super far away from us, like billions of light years away, it affected the atmosphere of planet Earth with the effects visible almost immediately. Now these were not dramatic effects, but it did affect the atmosphere, which is already quite surprising. Details somewhere right there in the description. And so luckily for us, these events are super rare, because if one were to happen much closer to us, well, yeah, extinction event could possibly happen. Luckily nothing like this is expected to happen for millions of years. But this definitely highlighted the extreme power of GRBs, the most powerful explosions in the entire universe. And last but not least, Artemis 1. Artemis 1 was launched finally and has definitively showed NASA that we're ready to go to the moon and potentially even Mars. Now this wasn't really a discovery per se, it was more of a test, but it's still pretty exciting because it definitely means that within the next 10 years we might officially have possible colony on the moon and might even start making plans to go to Mars. And I guess that's pretty much it. I think there's like 20 or so discoveries I covered here, and as I mentioned, you can find most of them, or most of the more thorough explanations, in the description below. And so until future discoveries, well that's pretty much it. Subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, happy holidays, happy new year, and as always, bye bye. Oh wait, I forgot one. There was also that signal detected by the Chinese Fast Telescope that suggested that maybe aliens were talking to us, although in reality, further analysis and further observations uh, discovered that it was most likely something that came from planet Earth, or very likely from the orbit around the planet. So unfortunately, once again, not aliens.